All right, so I just wanted to uh, make another video about how to publish your um, uh, executed uh, M file. So in this case, I've got this M file over here, and it's just doing some work with this matrix. Uh, it's kind of a fun thing; it's multi-dimensional scaling, but uh, that's beyond that's beside the point here. Um, so what I want to do is I want to try to publish this uh, folder or this document so that it makes a nice presentation. And so um, the problem with using Octave Online is uh, the PDF uh, output seems to be broken. So by that I mean um, normally we would just type publish and then the name of the, fo uh, the uh, M file that you're trying to publish, mds01.m in my case. And then you could type uh, with single quotes PDF. <coughs> now when we do that it's going to execute the uh, file if my command or if my connection comes back. All right, it's been doing this lately. Uh, at least we get a little graphics. Okay, so once we do that, um, we're going to get a bunch of error messages. And so um, for some reason, the LaTeX isn't working. Uh, it's missing this mathtools.sty for some reason. But that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and um, uh, try it another way. So this way isn't isn't as easy, but it uh, will produce results. So we're going to say publish, and then we'll have our mds01.m. But this time we'll use the default, which is HTML. And so this will produce an HTML file with uh, ping files or JPEG files um, for our graphics. Uh oh, we're going to run out of time. Nope, there we go. We finished. So this is telling us where it is. Notice that it's not showing up over on the left-hand side yet. Uh, you have to hit the refresh button first. And then you get some error message. Okay, so now you can see that um, we have our M file and our HTML file. So we want to actually download these files locally now so that we can actually um, see what they are. So that's that's why this is kind of a pain. Uh, so you have to download your HTML file, then you have to download your ping file, and then you have to download your JPEG file. And are you noticing what's happening here at the bottom? Uh, for some reason it's attaching that HTML underscore to each of those file names. Well that's gonna make this not work. So uh, let me pause for a second while we open up a folder with those files. Good, so here we are in my in a temporary directory. Uh, so now I've got to go through and I've got to um, rename each of these files because uh, I guess the HTML file you don't really have to, but the figure files you will because the HTML file is going to reference these two names. And so they have to be the original file names. Actually, I think it's just going to use the ping version. I'll just go ahead and rename them both. Good. Now we're ready. So now we can uh, just uh, open up this HTML file, and you see that uh, it's coming up. So this is kind of a nice, uh, nice way of looking at your uh, output. Good. And so this file now, you could go ahead and, uh, you know, if you print this, you can print this as a PDF. Uh, for upload so you can save as PDF and then you can unfortunately sometimes the graph is too big but that's fine now you can save this as a normal PDF file and go from there good it even has the little uh, file name off the top so that's how you publish in Octave Online unfortunately like I was saying the PDF option isn't working but the HTML file is so you just have to play around a little bit with those uh, file names uh, because it's they get renamed. Good. That's it. Let me know if you have questions. Um, I think everything should work. Remember that in regular MATLAB uh, you can still publish directly to PDF without any problem. So if you do have a lot of problem with Octave Online, go ahead and use the MATLAB uh, that's on the class, that's in the uh, classroom there, and um, that'll make it a lot easier. All right. I'll talk to you later.